Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com, and i um, still in uh, Cholula, Mexico, and let's give you an idea of where I'm at, and it's still a little early in the morning, and remember there's no, no heaters or, or air conditioning. So uh, I'm out here getting some sun. Uh, but anyway, uh, what I want to talk about, uh, what I want to talk about is the. Uh, I keep people in general don't have a plan. They stumble through life. Well, they, what they do is they get in line and they follow everybody. Uh, they do everything that everybody else does. Uh, they put themselves in debt and then they work paycheck to paycheck. And they just, you know, they have to have, you know, what, what, is, what is that? Keep up with the Joneses. They have to have what everybody else has and they just keep on going. And it doesn't stop. Uh, it's a continuous, continuous thing, and it's it's a lifestyle. I mean, they're, they're uh, watching TV. You know, the idiot box is a reason why they call that the idiot box. And you know, I mean, they're they don't plan plan ahead and prepare. This is in general. Now, I know the people that watch my videos, they're, they're not the ones in general at all, but uh, I, I hear things. I, I'm, um, okay, I'm out here, I live my life out amongst, you know, telling where I'm going to be and what I'm going to be doing. So I do get a lot of reality. I have to deal with a lot of reality, good and bad. And um, I know bad things happen, and uh, I prepare. And when you prepare for bad things, the good things are even nicer. Uh, they're easier to enjoy the good things. And um, but uh, I hear people now. We're getting ready to have a change in the United States. And um, uh, I, I keep hearing revolution, but I really see it as a reset. And the, the reason why I say it's a reset is, well, okay, I've always said God is first, then we the people, and then the Constitution. This is what makes it a reset and not a revolution. Revolution is... Uh, you're just the only the only plan in place is to get rid uh, of whatever type of government you have. And in the United States, we have uh, the government itself is laid out very good. It's a uh, representative uh, type government, republic, and people are supposed to be smarter than us are supposed to be making these decisions. The time has come where it hasn't. So what's going to happen is these people are going to be out. And when they're out, we're not looking to destroy our government. We're looking to replace, and well, not only replace, but we want to punish the people that have been in office that have uh, done unconstitutional acts and illegal acts and because we need good moral people to make decisions uh, and that's what we don't have so that's what we're doing we're going to replace these people and the thing is uh, we so we want to keep everything in place just re replace people that may or may not happen that easily now, if it doesn't have, well, one of the things that will probably have to happen will be martial law. And uh, it, martial law is 
different, like I say, I've been in many, many different kinds of martial laws. I, I used to be a, a storm chaser. I followed after uh, hurricanes. Uh, and so they were always on martial law after a hurricane. Or I've been in countries where they were having a revolution and they'd be under martial law and it ended up uh, the military ran the government instead of the government running the military. So. Uh, that's why I'm saying you don't want a revolution. We want a reset. We want, and the, our Constitution sets up for that. It says in there, uh, the Second Amendment, we can have guns uh, for the militia. We are the militia. So you have to understand the militia works best under their own conditions. In other words, close to your own home. So in other words, the first thing militias uh, obligation is to your family and then your neighbors neighborhood and then your community and when you start going outside of that it is it's different and it's difficult and uh, but when if there is a militia I mean a um, martial law in your area, and the reason I say it, it's not going to cover everywhere in the United States. It's going to be where the violence is. It's going to be where um, the utilities aren't going, uh, where people aren't getting fed, they're not uh, able to go to work, and this type of stuff. That's where you're going to have the martial law. So martial law isn't going to be just all over the, and then like you see in the movies, and, and uh, it's not going to be like that unless you are in a troubled area. And if you are, uh, and it doesn't matter if you are in a troubled area or not, you should have a militia. We've got that in our constitution. It's our duty as an American citizen. And uh, militias aren't that easy to put together and uh, make function like they're supposed to. This is why I've got three-man militias. I've got hundreds of videos talking about how the three-man militia works. And the three-man militia will work hand-in-hand -hand with that martial law, with the police, uh, the the your local militia needs to be working hand in hand with them because one thing is you don't want people outside your community policing you such as UN troops or even uh, military you don't even want our US military doing it, it's got to be pretty bad before the military is going to come into your area and start policing you it's much better when you police yourselves not only uh, you're doing it to yourself, you know your neighbors, you should, and you know which ones are bad and which ones are good, and uh, you'll be able to take action, what needs to be done. The bad ones want to be bad, you can take the action. At martial law, uh, there's no courts, there's no none of this kind of stuff. In the militia, we have that responsibility. We also have that responsibility as if you believe in God, God's given us personal responsibility. He's given us the obligation to take care of your family, take care of your uh, neighbors and your community. And uh, through a militia is the way to do it. I said the three-man militia because this way we can kind of stay moral. Because there's not going to be the law. The law is um, the martial law, the, the rule by force. But the difference between the Americans and the rest of the world is we believe in God and we should have morals. So we will do things morally. You'll find your morals will be put to the test. But your militia has to work with your local police, local law enforcement, providing they're doing the proper work. God, we the people, is others, helping others, and the Constitution. Anything other than that, you're not really, should, shouldn't be helping them. Anything other than that, they are a threat to God, we the people, and the Constitution. So, 
get your marbles straight. This is why you prepare. This is what you're going to be going up against. People that don't believe in God, we the people, and the Constitution. But you will work with others. At least wherever I'm at, I've been in enough bad situations that I know when things get bad, we will work together. It may not be uh, business like usual. In other words, get up in the morning, take your shower, and you go to work. Everything may not be like it always is, but we have to work together. And when you're around me, we will be working together because our only option is we'll be under somebody's thumb, somebody outside our community, and it won't work like that around me. That's my choice. What is your choice? I don't know, but you better prepare. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.